Here's meteorologist Pete Mangione with your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Well, if you're looking for that really hot, scorching summer weather, we don't have any of that showing up in the forecast, but we do have another beauty on the way tomorrow, and tomorrow will come with a little bit less wind, too. So let's get you to those three key things. Very cool tonight. You may be surprised when I put up those overnight lows in just a few minutes. A nice day on the way for Tuesday and then some showers on the way for the middle of the week. But first, let's enjoy the beautiful blue sky here from North Kingstown. You can see those branches blowing around here in the breeze and our East Providence camera, which can't exaggerate the wind a little bit, but no doubt about it. It's a breezy evening with mostly sunny skies. Temperatures at 70 in Providence, 69 Newport, 69 in Westerly, and 70 in New Bedford. And there are those sustained winds right now at 15 miles an hour in Providence, 15 Newport, and 15 in Westerly. Our weather station from Cumberland showing 68 degrees. We have an interesting situation, a cold pool of air, basically a pocket of air pretty high up in the atmosphere, but pretty cool for this time of year, and that is helping to trigger some showers and some of these clouds. That will tend to diminish overnight. Let's walk you through that part of the forecast. It's dry tomorrow. Now know what, know what happens late in the afternoon. Clouds start to approach from the west. We keep it dry all day long, all evening long on Tuesday, and then overnight, Tuesday, say after midnight, some showers are possible, and those could spill into a little portion of Wednesday morning. I'm not anticipating major issues to the Wednesday morning commute, and then another round of showers potentially late Wednesday into Thursday morning. So uh, Wednesday and Thursday are not washouts, but some showers are certainly in the forecast. Let's talk temperatures. I mentioned how it's going to be a cool night. Well, this is at 10 p.m. Temperatures in the mid 50s. As we go overnight, 3, 4 o'clock in the morning, we're talking mid to upper 40s around 47 in Smithfield, 48 Providence, 47 Newport. And check out this number here in Willimantic, Connecticut, 44. I wouldn't be surprised if we get some of those into portions of Rhode Island and Bristol County, especially outside of Providence and some of the outlying suburbs. Even some upper 30s are possible at some of the higher elevations. Now we do recover these temperatures into the upper 60s to around 70 by tomorrow afternoon around 69 in Providence. I think there will be a little bit more of a southerly bend to the breezes tomorrow and that will keep the coast in the mid 60s. In terms of winds, not quite as windy as today, but still breezy around 5 to 15 miles an hour during the morning with some gusts up to around 20 by 3 o'clock in the afternoon. And on the water, we do have a small craft advisory expiring tonight, but still kind of choppy on the water tomorrow. Winds out of the southwest at around 10 to 15 knots, waves around 2 to 3 feet. High tide on the way at 913 in the morning. Seven day forecast shows another high of around 70 tomorrow. At the beach, because of that southerly breeze I mentioned, it's a little cooler. We're talking mid 60s with mostly sunny skies. And then 75 on Wednesday, Thursday, upper 70s. That situation on Thursday, that temperature will be dependent on how extensive the clouds and the showers are. It is possible that on uh, Thursday we get some of those temperatures near 80. And then a nice looking weekend, temperatures mid 70s with mostly sunny skies. So really no hot day showing up there, but some nice weather on the way tomorrow. Today was like absolute perfection. It's great, I would agree, perfect yeah. 10. Perfect, all right, Pete, thanks. More coverage you can count on still ahead on Eyewitness News Live at five. Caught on camera, a pilot forced to land his plane on an empty stretch of beach in New Jersey.